Let's kill them with kindness, shall we? I was on a phone on one side of the room, and he was on a phone on the other side of the room. And I told him, I go, Kevin, just say yes. I'll explain it to you later. So he said, okay, Dana's saying yes. Did you think this was going out on a limb? Did you have trouble no. explaining it to family, friends, Kevin Spacey? No. At the time, I wanted to make the first film to be distributed online. I never made that happen, but I always wanted the content to go to that distribution model where you could reach everybody. Um, and I talked about it in a lot of different variations. When David Fincher called uh, Kevin and I and said, hey, this meeting with Netflix happened and we're considering doing it, um, Kevin was living in London at the time, and so he only knew Netflix as the DVD rentals. That's all we knew. Exactly. Um, they had just started streaming. This was before the Quickster oh, yes. and all of that, yes. right? And I'd actually been pushing Kevin towards television at the time. And his reps at the time were like, movie stars don't do television. But also some of the best content was on television, and particularly an actor like Kevin who likes to do that, that those arcs with the characters and what he does with Francis Underwood. After 22 years in Congress, I can smell which way the wind is blowing. They approached us and said, we think we want to release them all in one shot. That and was their idea. Yeah, it was Netflix's idea. And when they came and said they want to release all 13 episodes in one shot, we're like, that's great. Because we had already approached it as like a big, long feature movie. And if you look at our episodes, they're called chapters. Um, and it's like a chapter of a book. And that created a lot of debate, and people thought that that was the worst way to uh, release it. And, and I always said, the audience will learn. They will adapt, and they will learn. And now, clearly, they have. And it's if you want to watch you know, five chapters in, in an evening and only want to watch two, that's your prerogative. It's the same if you want to read a book. I don't tell you to stop after six chapters. <laughs> if you want to read ten, go ahead. Although some people argue that Game of Thrones mm -hmm. can milk a lot of social conversation mm -hmm. over a week because Hodor died, right? right? Is that... Spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of that get lost in a binge? Yeah, I, I guess it could, but it also it creates... There's a, there's, that conversation continues, and it's, it always lives there. If it's a great series, it's a great series. The social conversation, while it might help get people to come next week, who cares? Do you feel partly responsible for the binge phenomenon that everyone knows now? It would have happened anyway. I think we accelerated it. When you have David Fincher and Kevin Spacey, um, every network in town was flipping out for it. But then that fact that we went to the internet, as everyone referred to it, that really accelerated and made the nomenclature really become uh, part of the norm. When season one dropped, where were you? How'd you get the results? <laughs> uh, well, they didn't give us any numbers, and they don't give out any numbers. Right. Um, but they were extremely happy, and they told us that it was the most viewed uh, content that they'd ever had. Don't you crave a number? I don't care. It's just, that's just, I guess if you're competitive, you want to know. But I like the fact of that they didn't tell anybody. HBO and everybody else, they don't need it. To, they're, it's based on subscriptions. I crave the number of they went from 2 million subscribers to 50 million subscribers as opposed to some Nielsen's box that I really don't believe in. I crave the, the actual bottom line of how much money it's bringing in. When you're looking for leverage to sign a new season, that's the number that, that, that's in your pocket? It was definitely used. I took you from X subscriptions to Y subscriptions. It was definitely used by a lot of the renegotiations of different cast and people involved. The State of the Union is in two weeks. You show up for that, then I'll leave you alone. Let's get this over with. You said uh, we're going to do it as long as we can for as long as it's good. Yeah. As long as it, if it starts to fall off a cliff, I wouldn't want to do it. Hey, CN hey, CNBC fans. I'm Carl Quintanilla. Thanks for watching CNBC's Binge on YouTube. You can subscribe by clicking right here. Watch all of our interviews on the changing media landscape. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch more from CNBC. Thanks for watching.